Hello everyone, this is Felix from GM Wolf. Now, we've all been there, we made the best top-down shooter ever, and then we have this, our bullets moving through the walls. And, um, well, why does this happen exactly, and how can we fix it? Now, uh, if you can imagine your bullets moving by a certain number of pixels every step, uh, as you can see, it, it may jump over your, um, your wall, and not trigger the collision events. So today we're gonna to look at a very small piece of code we can use to completely fix this problem. So we're gonna open our bullet object and add an event, and we're gonna use the end step event, so it will be triggered uh, after triggering all the movement code. And we can add a simple piece of code uh, which will check the collision from our previous point to the new point uh, and check there were any walls in between. And for this, we're gonna be using a collision line. So we can do if collision underscore line, let me center this on screen a bit better. So if collision line between our previous position using X previous and Y previous and our current position uh, with a wall object uh, and we can use precision or not, depending on how you set up your uh, system. And not me doesn't really matter what you use, since we're not checking with uh, bullet objects, we're using the wall objects. So again, if we have a collision uh, anywhere between our previous point and our current point, we will simply trigger our collision events. We can do uh, event underscore perform, the type is ev underscore collision and the number will be the object we want to collide with which is obj underscore wall. Now if I press play what we should see is that our bullets will collide with our wall every time no matter what we do. As you can see here it's all good I can move as close and far away as I want our bullet always gets destroyed and uh, when it collides with the wall, which is perfect. So if you have found this useful, uh, you can let me know on Twitter or down in the comments below, and you can like this video and subscribe to see more. And I'll see you guys next time for some more Game Maker tutorials.